Hybrids aren't the only alternatives to gas-powered vehicles nowadays. There are electrics, plug-in hybrids, and now hydrogen-based vehicles are starting to join the club, like the Toyota Mirai. The benefit of having a plug-in is that you never need to worry about keeping your eyes peeled for the nearest charge station like how you do with an electric vehicle. After receiving a full redesign for 2016, the 2017 Chevrolet Volt sees minor equipment shuffling and the availability of adaptive cruise control. So let's go ahead and check out this 2017 Chevrolet Volt LT. Now the Chevrolet Volt is a fairly stylish looking plug-in hybrid and you do have many modern styling touches that do come as standard equipment such as these LED low beam headlights as well as LED daytime running lights too. You do have these fairly conservative looking 17 inch alloy wheels as well. But overall it's not a bad looking vehicle and I think it's a much better looking vehicle than the last generation Volt. Here goes the key fob design for the vehicle. It's your typical typical Chevrolet smart key. You have your remote keyless entry, your unlock, your lock, and then you have your remote engine start as well as your panic button. Now it's the silver ice metallic with smart key access on all four doors of the vehicle. Like I said, our trim of the Volt we have here is the base LT trim. You also do have a full on black cloth interior with manual driver's seat adjustments and manual recline too. All right, now stepping on inside of the Volt here, it's a very modern and stylish looking cabin design using Chevrolet's latest design language with their steering wheel and their infotainment system as well as their climate controls too. Now it does have push button ignition, just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Full leather wrapped steering wheel. Coming to your transmission, you have a one speed direct drive automatic transmission with lower gear selection. And when you put the vehicle into reverse, this will display your rear view camera with guidance lines and you also do have trajectory. And down here is where you will also find your electronic parking brake. And I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lights and the hazards as well. Let's go ahead and pop up the hood and check out the engine bay. Heated exterior mirrors. Now this is where you charge the volt. Now you can use a standard 120 volt power source that takes about 13 hours to charge the vehicle or you can use a 240 volt power source that takes about 4.5 hours to charge. Like I said you have 17 inch alloy wheels. Coming up front, you have LED low beam headlights and LED daytime running lights. The Volt has a plug-in hybrid system consisting of twin electric motors producing 149 horsepower and then you have a 1.5 liter gasoline engine. The electric motors are powered by an 18.4 kilowatt lithium ion battery pack that can be partially recharged on the go from the gas engine or from regenerative braking. As far as EPA estimates go, you're looking at 106 MPGE with 53 miles in electric range and 42 miles with gasoline mode only. There are essentially two trim levels for the Volt. You have the base LT, and then you have the top of the line Premier, and then there's a couple of packages you can choose from. Now our particular Volt costs $33,995. On the top you have a shark fin antenna, and coming to the rear of the vehicle you have LED taillights with rear reflectors. A 
of course all of your basic powered features power windows power mirrors and two power door locks you also do have chrome interior door handles build quality and materials are okay inside of the volt here now up here we do have a hard touch upper door panel um, on the mid door panel on the armrest is softly padded on the dashboard um it's this hard touch plastic however the graining of the plastic is okay um interior quality can be a little bit improved inside of here but build quality is okay inside of here coming to the steering wheel design i love chevrolet's latest uh steering wheel design language coming over here we have your cruise control like i said adaptive cruise control is now available for the 2017 model year over here we also do have your controls for the chevrolet mylink system and then you have your bluetooth phone controls as well as your voice recognition and the steering wheel also does tilt and telescope manually with an okay range of adjustment down here is where you will find another little storage cubby and then you have two USB ports as well as an auxiliary input and a 12 volt power outlet. Down here you have dual cup holders and you have your traction control off button right there. Your center console lid is also nice and soft touch and stitched. Okay amount of center console storage. Can be a little bit better though. Then you have a little pocket right here. Up here you have your manually dimming rear view mirror. OnStar and SOS Safety Connect. The climate controls on the Volt have a very simple and clean looking layout. They're also very intuitive to use. Coming over here on the left we have your fan speeds and it shows you up here on the Chevrolet Miling system what fan speed level you're at. And then on the right you have your temperature. And then you have your rear window defroster, front window defroster, and your recycling mode too. And then you could change your different zones as well. Seating comfort in the Volt is pretty good with decent supportive seats. Thigh support is also excellent and there's a decent amount of support on the side bolsters. The seats are just a little firm, but overall these are pretty comfortable seats and pretty good for long road trips. As far as visibility goes in the Volt, there's a decent amount of side glass area on the front windows. However, the eight pillars are pretty thick. Um, seeing out of the windshield um, is a little bit difficult at times. And when you get to a rearward visibility, it can be a little bit better for sure. Um, at least pretty much every trim of the Volt is going to have a rear view camera. Now coming to the multimedia interface and the infotainment system, this is the Chevrolet MyLink system. We've seen it many times here before and I love it because it's very user friendly and intuitive and it has a very responsive interface. Now what's pretty cool about this system is that you could swipe like this between the different menus and it feels very natural it kind of works like a tablet which is pretty cool um, this is your home screen right here and on the upper left hand corner it shows you your exterior temperature readout on the upper right hand corner it shows you your digital clock coming to your different audio sources we have all of the norm here am fm as well as xm satellite radio you also do have bluetooth streaming audio your auxiliary input and your usb port with ipod integration what's also pretty cool is that you can direct tune so you can enter in your radio station and it'll go straight directly to the radio station, which is pretty nice, very convenient. And then down here, you also do have your presets. Coming back to the home screen, we have your settings. There's many different settings that you could change in the system, such as the time and the date, the language, valet mode, and then your radio too. You also do have the Apple CarPlay settings, Bluetooth, voice, rear camera settings, and then you can reset the factory settings if you would like. Coming to energy, this shows you your driving info and then your energy details. It shows you the amount of energy used, the climate settings, and then the charging. It shows you your charge limit and then your charge mode. And it also shows you your next planned departure. Coming to flow, it shows you the battery power, the flow of it, which is pretty cool. Then you also do have Pandora. Of course, you also have to have an internet connection through your smartphone if you want to play Pandora. Then you have the projection feature, which is for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And if you want to use the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems, you actually have to have a USB port connected to your phone. And then it'll display up on the screen and show your smartphone's interface on the screen, which is nice. Then you also do have OnStar's navigation. Then you have your SMX text messaging function too 
and then right over here we also do have your OnStar. Overall, love the Chevrolet MyLink system. Very intuitive, responsive, and it's certainly one of the best infotainment systems in the business. Now coming to the instrument cluster, we have a big old TFT instrument cluster here. And I like it because it has pretty good graphics and rendering too. Now directly in the center, we have your digital speedometer. And then also on here, it shows you your EV range. And then right over here, it shows you your fuel range too for your gas. Now coming over here, shows you various amounts of vehicle information such as your trip odometer, shows your average fuel economy, then your coolant temperature, timer, you have your average speed, tire pressure, oil life percentage, and then your total range with the EV range and the fuel range combined. Or you could just go to the big old digital speedometer too. Pretty cool there. Coming to audio right here, shows you what audio source is playing. You could change your different audio source from here if you would like. Then you have your phone, you can make a Bluetooth phone call from here. And then you have your OnStar navigation, turn-by-turn -turn directions. And then you can select your layout if you would like. You can go to Classic Enhanced, Modern Enhanced, or Classic, or Modern. Then you have your settings, you could change the units from miles to kilometers. And then you have your open source software, tutorials, your speed warning, you could set the speed if you would like. Pretty cool there. Overall, love this TFT instrument cluster. Really good graphics and rendering here. And then on the upper right hand corner, it shows you what gear you're in too. All right, and let's go ahead and shut down the vault. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the car. Build quality and materials do cheapen out back here in the rear. You have a hard touch upper door panel, mid door panel, and armrest. Now back here in the Volt, this is where the vehicle falls short compared to some of some other plug-in hybrids. Um, it's pretty cramped back here. There's not a whole lot of headroom and there's not a whole lot of legroom either. Um, this isn't really the perfect kind of family vehicle. These rear seats are certainly usable, um, but more for short road trips. You do have dual map pockets and then you do have dual um, cup holders too. And then you have a rear sonar armrest, which I'm quite surprised about. And then you have rear adjustable headrests. And then this isn't a five passenger vehicle, it's only a four passenger vehicle. So if you're looking for a, a five passenger vehicle, then you may want to look elsewhere. All right. Now back here, cargo space is decent. Um, the rear seats do fold down to maximize cargo space. And then you also do have a little side pocket on the side right there. Now to fold down the rear seat, just pull up like this. And the seats will fold down 60-40 split. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment. So the 2017 Chevrolet Volt is an excellent choice for a plug-in hybrid vehicle has loads of technology, it's modern, and fuel efficient and pretty stylish too. So remember that this is Cameron Birch from Cameron's Car Reviews.